Today, we stay overnight in one of America's most haunted buildings. This is the Jerome Grand Hotel, formerly a hospital that was active during the 1920s. During its time as a hospital, an estimated 9,000 people lost their lives. Now, not all of these were peaceful, some by suicide, others by murder. Now, we didn't know this at the time of recording, but this hotel has one of the oldest self-serve elevators in the state. And in 1926, it crushed a maintenance man when it came down on his head, killing him instantly. There are a lot of stories of ghosts, such as voices or figures seen throughout the night in this eerie hotel due to all of this history. Okay guys, so we are just pulling up to the haunted hotel. It's straight ahead and it does look pretty spooky. All right guys, just parked the car. We have officially arrived to the hotel and check out this view. We were like crazy high up in the mountains, man. The drive up here was super insane and the whole town is like, it's very ghost oriented. Joining me is my brother and my sister and the hotel is right up ahead. So let me grab my backpack and then we will go and explore. All right, you guys, check out this elevator. It's so cool. All right, 28C. So it's going to be the one on the right. All right. All right, there we go. Oh, bro. <laughs> I mean, it just looks scary. Gosh, this does look scary. Ew, this is huge. <laughs> it's a big room. Ew. All right, come on in. This is the room, you guys. Quick little tour. I mean, I just got here, but... Living room. Out here we have what looks like to be an outdoor area. A nice little view of everything. This used to be a hospital. Yeah, this did used to be a hospital. You gotta think crazy. about what was in this room before. You think people died in this room? Okay, let's check out over here, you guys. Jonathan said that this room is very scary. I'll sleep in here by myself. Girl, no, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. No, you wouldn't. Ew, that vanity is scary. It looks nice, actually. I kind of like it. That is looking Where's the restroom? The restroom we passed. Oh, come on, you guys. Let me show you guys the restroom. So. Restroom is over here, and it also does look very, very old. It does kind of look like like a hospital Ew. door. It does give me kind of hospital vibes. This is a nice restroom. It is. It is kind of nice. But look at the floor, bro. That's like a hospital floor. I'm gonna okay. sleep here with the light on. With the light on, really? What if? <gasps> what if there's like a ghost in the mirror? Okay, you guys, so really quick, um, fast forward. It is dark as heck outside right now. It's nighttime completely, and we're gonna try and find some ghosts. How are you feeling, sis? I'm feeling scared. Girl, not you with the rosary around your hand. <laughs> I've never seen you with a rosary before, dude. Jonathan, how are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like there's not, we're not gonna find no ghosts. They're not right. gonna come and get us because we're good people. All right, you guys, so what we're gonna do first is try and find like a ghost in every room. We have an EMF detector, which is supposed to like detect the electromagnetic field that ghosts give off. So we're gonna start off with that and you know, kind of go from there. Finally, Jonathan, big believers in ghosts. I don't, I just don't, I don't think they're real at all. I hope they can prove me wrong today. All right, so John handed, is handing me the uh, EMF reader. This is it right here. It is, it's on. Okay, right away, I'm noticing a lot more activity than I did when I was testing it at the house. So we're gonna start off in the entrance of the room, okay? So this is where you enter. We got Jonathan Dinelly here. So let's go ahead, make sure that it's on, and let's start hunting for some ghosts. Okay, so here we are in the living room. As of right now, the thing is very, it's still very green, which is which is like, oh, Dinelly, what the <laughs> hell, bro? <laughs> What did you do? I just went with my ring like this. <laughs> this is it. This is the little patio area. And that looks freaking scary. That is so odd. Very green. You know, maybe we just didn't get a haunted room. Come on, ghosts. Prove me wrong, man. <laughs> Alright, GoPro camera on 
The camera just died. Out of nowhere, man. I could have sworn it was 100%, but no worries. We have more, uh, we have, oh, there's another camera over here. We have a lot more batteries, so we're just gonna swap this out and we're gonna continue on the last room. But isn't that so weird? No joke, you guys. Like, I'm not just saying that to, like, sound like, you know, spice it up for the camera and, or for the YouTube video or nothing like that, but, bro, like, on God, it was, like, fully charged, 100%. We didn't even use it. So you guys know, like, kind of the history of this hotel? You guys know? You guys see a video? I was kind of watching a video before I came, and apparently this whole thing, they used to be, like, a hotel in the 19th. 20s. No, not a hotel, a hospital. Like thousands of people have died here. Some suicide and some murders. Some um, murders? Some murders. Yeah. It, it, bro, it's <laughs> It's dead! You can see on the top right corner, that's a brand new battery. I made sure they were all charged before we came. Alright guys, so we are back. We had to change like two different batteries, which was crazy. <laughs> we're gonna check the last room now with the EMF reader and see if there are any ghosts in there. So we also have a GoPro running in there, so maybe in case we miss something, maybe the GoPro will catch it. Here we go. This is a really spooky room here. It looks like it's still... It's very green. It's very, very green. Seems like it's good here. Yeah, it seems like it's good here. If there are any ghosts in here, can you please let us know that you're here? You can make a noise or maybe make this little thing light up, Mr. or Mrs. Ghosts. Maybe you want to show up in the mirror, that's okay. Now the only place that we haven't checked now, you guys, is the restroom. Yeah, that's the scariest This is like the scariest Just look room. At the door. Oh, dude, the sound in here is so spooky. No, oh, I'd say we're uh I'd say we're pretty good. I'm getting I'm getting some signal, bro. There's a ghost in here. Show us some signs. Look, bro, it's turning yellow. Alright guys, so what Jonathan just found out, you're supposed after we were done doing the EMF readings, you're supposed to kinda of hold it down a little bit, and that's what kinda of gets it to move. So maybe we were just using it okay. wrong. Alright, if there's any ghosts in here, can you please Make a sound again, maybe walk by the EMF reader, which is this black thing. Because you gotta think about it, bro. They're from like the 1900s. Look, do you see how it's turning like yellow? Yeah, I see a little bit of it. Let's keep walking this way. Are you over here? Do you wanna say hi? Do you wanna say hi? <gasps> Sorry, to my, sis my, my sister, my uh, sister, Oh, don't touch me, bro! Stop touching me! Vanley, you do have a touching problem. You touched my neck earlier. No, you gotta I'm stop scared touching you. us. I'm scared you're so scared. Go, go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You think that's gonna save you from a ghost, sis? <laughs> Finching onto Jonathan? Right. Right, let's go check that room again. Let's check that. I don't wanna check that room, bro. I hate this room. It is so freaking spooky like, in here. Sure Alright, ghost, hey, we're back. Let me check again. We found out how to use the machine. Was this your room? Are you in here? If you're here, give us you know, a sign. You do it, you know, say anything, you know? Walk by, make a sound. If you died in here, then give us a sign. Make a sound. <gasps> it went to yellow. We haven't gone to red yet. Oh, that one was orange. So you guys, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to, you know, get them to communicate with us. We're gonna try to communicate with them, you know, holding hands at this little table. So we have the EMF reader right here <coughs> on the table. I think we're supposed to close this room. Let's close this room. Okay, here we go. If there are any ghosts here, maybe you died here or, you know, and if you passed away in this room, maybe murdered, I'm sorry that happened to you, but can you let us know if you're here? You know, make a sound, move something, maybe you're too shy to do something in front of us. We have a camera set up in the other room, so you can head over there, you know, so just give us a sign. Let us know you're in here. Are you scared of us? You can maybe knock on something, open a door, tap on something, move a curtain, anything you feel comfortable with. Do you guys see anything? Uh, I thought I heard something. I'm looking... Oh, could that have been the sign? I feel like the clock is moving faster. Did you hear that? I did. It's like behind Jonathan, we're hearing like, like almost like a crack tap. I've heard it like a couple times. Nothing super crazy. Um, there it goes again. No, but that's weird. Because if it was the AC or something like that, it would have been doing that this whole time, bro. Yeah, no, just It just started right now. It just started right now. I'm really hoping the camera can pick up some of that audio. I don't know. It's very faint, but I can, I'm pretty sure the camera will pick it up. Hopefully you guys can hear that. Don't be shy. Okay, well that, that, I heard it that. It got louder. That was loud. It got louder. 
All right, well, we're going to finish up here. Um, thank you very much. Say goodbye. And goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. The only thing that I heard was the, um, was the tapping. I heard a lot of tapping behind Jonathan. And it was very, it wasn't like in a pattern or anything like that. It was just very random. Oh, that only was right. Hold on, sis. I don't know if I'm tripping, but was that clock always moving that fast? No. I swear it was. No, I think, no, I think, I just, I feel like it just slowed down a little bit. It was moving a little fast. It was moving fast right now, right? It was, I swear it was. No, I, no, that's why I picked up the camera. Oh, Look, it's slowing down, I think. Even earlier when we were holding hands, I swear it was moving faster. Okay, all right, this is the hallway, you guys. So, we're just gonna walk very slowly, and I'm gonna hold it down just a little bit. Okay, there we go, you really do kind of have to push it a little bit. Not too bad. Oh, just a little bit of activity, but nothing too crazy. Oh, I'm getting a little bit over here. She said like 23. Room 23, the lady told me it was super haunted, this one. Let's maintain it a little bit. A little bit of activity. Room 23, nothing too crazy. Oh yeah, it's like right here. A lot of yellow in this area. 27, maybe 27 is the spooky one. All right, so we did get a little bit of activity in the hallway, but nothing super, super crazy. Like it just went up to yellow, maybe at one point orange. Okay, now something that I kind of do want to do with you guys is we can kind of each of us go either in that room or in the restroom. Come on, sis. I think that's what, I think that's maybe the ghost would feel more comfortable with like a one-on-one -on -one with a person. I'll go in the restroom. You go in the restroom? If you guys want, I'll go first. Okay. I just, I'll, I'll set a minute timer on my watch. And then uh, I think I'm just gonna do this room. Honestly, it seems less scary than the restroom. I'm gonna hang out here for a minute. I'm gonna shut the door. Siri, can you set a one minute timer? One minute, counting uh, down. If there are any ghosts in here, can you please make a sound? Oh, I do not like this room at all. Bro, that was so weird. So I just realized that the camera, like it stops recording randomly. It's so weird. So I am in here by myself. I chose the big room, I'm in here for a minute. And I looked at the camera and it was recording. And then I looked back up and it, just, it stopped. It's so weird. And oh man, I do not like this. This room is so spooky. If there's any ghosts in here, can you please make a sound? Anything? Touch me. All right, guys, so that is my minute. It is all done. All right, ghosts, I'm gonna leave now. Again, if you want to touch me, feel free. Oh, I got the biggest ghost bumps in there. Have you guys ever seen BuzzFeed Unsolved? Not only, you've seen BuzzFeed Unsolved, right? Yeah. They sometimes do that. I look at their videos and I'm like, I can totally be in a room by myself, you know, yeah. trying to talk to ghosts. Hell no, that is spooky, <laughs> man. It is so spooky. All right, so who wants to go next? In the restroom? You gonna? Okay, all right. Donna, let me know when you're ready and I'll set the timer. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, Diane Lee's in there by herself. There's literally so much light in here. All right, sis, go ahead and try to talk to some ghosts if you want. I'm gonna turn off the lights over here, okay? Because I know that's a window door. <sighs> there are nice ghosts here. Make this light turn yellow. All right, Diane Lee's one minute timer just finished. All right, sis, you can come on out, okay? Bethany, I was talking, telling Jonathan, we opened the door and you just not be in there. <laughs> Were you even talking? We didn't hear you talk. No, at first I was like, they're so dumb. It's so bright in here. Nothing's gonna happen. And then you're like, let me turn off the light. And I was like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jonathan's turn. Bro, it's scary in there. All right, dude, you don't gotta, you don't gotta scare me like that. <laughs> come on, man. I know it's scary. I know it's scary. Don't look into the mirrors. Yeah, try not to look into the mirrors, bro. Let's see how this goes. Why you guys gotta, now I'm gonna look at the mirror. Now I'm gonna look at it. Great. Right, you're good, big bro. I'm gonna set the timer, okay? One minute, counting down. All right, big bro. All See right. if you can try to talk to them, okay? All right, yeah. All right. Um, if I got the EMF thing right here, so if, uh, if there's any ghost in here, let me know. All right. Big bro, your minute is up. How was it? Yeah, it was something, bro. It was scary. It really was. <laughs> if you want to say something, last chance. We're going to go Mimi's. We're going to go to sleep. Anything? The, maybe you want to speed, it, speed up the clock again? That seems to be going. Y'all heard that, right? On the right side, you guys didn't hear that? 
Look, there it goes again. Now that's coming from the room, bro. I do not like that room. Hey, we heard some noise. Just wanted to check on you. Oh, hell no. Did you, you hear that? It's, it's the thing outside. Oh, it could be. No way, bro. That's like somebody's crumb. Okay, I didn't actually expect that. I'm gonna get out of this room. No, wait, no, this is what we came for. This is what we came for. Yeah, but... That's spooky. It was coming from, like, right there. That was loud. Yeah, it was. It was just as we were leaving. What did it sound like? No, yeah. actually, hold on. This is, like... What the heck? That's, like, metal. That's, like, concrete. I thought it was gonna be, like, drywall. So what was that sound? It, c it couldn't be the wall. Because that's solid, bro. I heard, like, crackling, you know? Any ghosts, if you want to make a... Ghost again, I'm just gonna ask you uh, very nicely. Yo, you heard that, right? Uh, I don't like that. You I feel like it was that. behind me. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, well, thank you very much for making that sound. We're gonna head off and uh, go to sleep now if we can. What's up you guys? So it is the next morning. We just slept through the night. They slept for, for me, like saying that I didn't believe in ghosts or anything like that. And I wasn't scared. I was the only one who was up like all throughout the night. I think this hotel is, you know, a little, maybe a little haunted. It has to be, bro. So you guys, with that being said, make sure to subscribe, like the video. I'll see you guys 